Hello, good evening, and welcome back to BBC Nine's longest-running and perhaps most popular radio series, Blast from the Past. And tonight, uh, we're delighted to have in our studio Mr. David Icke, who in some circles has been called the latter-day Nostradamus, and in other quarters, notably those of... uh, BBC's very own TV host, Terry Wogan's audience, uh, who laughed at him way back when he was introduced as a kind of doomsday thinker, or uh, in uh, more vulgar vulgar terms, sorry, um, a nutcase. David, it's great to have you in the studio. Great, mate. Good to to be here. And... um, May I compliment you on your uh, remarkable productivity? You've been a very prolific author, and uh, you've been touring many continents with your kind of talk show, a live presentation of your views, your insights, uh, different kinds of inspiration. And uh, not all of it has been purely rational or intellectual. Many miracles have happened in your life. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about that, please? Yeah, mate. Good on you, mate. I woke up in my hotel room and uh, I saw this eye looking at me. It kept looking at me, an all-seeing eye. And uh, I thought, you better watch your life, mate. And uh, so I did. Well, <laughs> that's a very... A kind of straightforward, no nonsense explanation, but uh, some Americans, especially, have criticized you for kind of uh, nicking or stealing ideas from a lady named um, Alice Bailey. Uh, could that be right, or is that a kind of form of slander? Yeah, mate, they're just jealous, mate. They're Green, the green monster of, or did Shakespeare call it? Ah, the bard, you were quoting the bard of Stratford-upon-Avon. Yeah, mate, it's uh, just a matter of uh, the green monster of envy, whatever it's called. And I, I've been trying to uh, combine all sorts of theories. One is that the royals of Europe are basically uh, reptiles, reptilian creatures with hybrids and uh, guilty of uh, abducting children drugging them and uh, bumping them off somebody else has been bumped off by the royals of course Lady Diana well that's all uh, amazing information and uh, later we'll look at uh, another miracle we'll perform. What would you call musical miracle, uh, David? Well, mate, if somebody sent you a poem, in French, let's say, and you, you'd be able to improvise on the spot and uh, kind of compose a song around it, that, that would be a miracle to me. Well, uh, as a matter of fact, we've got Frankie Paradiso here in the studio, Who's just to receive? Who's just received a poem from uh, a francophone lady living in Belgium, a great Elvis Presley fan, and she's written a poem uh, about Elvis called uh, "Toi le Roi," uh, meaning "You the King," and uh, we can ask Frankie if he, if he can do this on the spot and uh, to prove your. Theories to support it. Here we go. Le fille du soleil, toi, le migrant d'où la terre tremble, toi, dont la patrie te manque, toi.
toi, l'enfant devenu éternel, toi l'ami de terre, toi le perdu d'espace trop grand, toi déraciné dans la ville, toi Elvis le roi. Il viendra bien un jour, ce temps où nous te retrouverons, quand le monde deviendra grand, ou qu'importe où tu sois, on se retrouvera avec tendresse et penchance pour se nourrir d'amour. Et s'abreuver de joie Toi, le fille du soleil Toi, le migrant douleur Tremble, toi, dont la patrie te manque, toi, l'enfant devenu éternel. Toi, déraciné dans la ville, toi, Elvis, the king. Well, thank you, thank you, Paradiso. That was a remarkable new song of yours, uh, based on this French poem. I'm sure uh, Elvis Presley, who's apparently still alive. You haven't written any books about him, uh, David, have you? Uh, no, mate, but but I'm going to. It, it's it's uh, in the works. Um, yes. Did you enjoy that song, uh, David? Yeah, mate. Great. It was great. I I I failed French in um, grammar school, but uh, you know didn't understand a word of it. But it, it, it sounded great. Uh, one of my ambitions was to to become a pop singer in my day, and uh, instead I because I, I I sang out of tune. I um, I became a goalkeeper for Coventry. Well, that's interesting. Uh, I mean, given your reception. Uh, on Terry Bogan's show, you know, the audience giving you the cold shoulder. Uh, some people might have concluded that you, you were actually sent to Coventry. Uh, interesting British idiom meaning uh, you know, everybody cutting you dead in the street and refusing to talk to you or listen to you. Uh, David, we'd like to add another touch of kind of the miracles you mentioned to the program. What would you call a latter-day miracle, modern miracle of the time of the 21st century? What would you expect Frankie, for instance, as a kind of latter-day troubadour? Or what kind of miracle would you like him to perform? Well, mate, it's very simple. 
if he could stand in front of a fountain, the fountain would be completely dead, uh, you know, all the parts have been stolen or sold to all kinds of uncouth elements uh, society, and uh, you, I'd expect him to make that fountain work again, just right behind his back, just by raising his hand. That, that would be a miracle to me, especially if that involved several examples in a row. You think he could do that? Well, we could give it a try. We'll, we'll ask him to go down his local park and uh, perform that miracle in front of our very eyes. Okay. Thanks for coming to the studio, David. Good luck with your books. And uh, let's hope only half of the horrors you describe in those books are true. That will be, you know, enough to deal with. Thanks very much. Good on you, mate. Oh, thanks for having me. Okay. Good evening. Hello and welcome to our new stunning TV series, Miracles Will Happen. And uh, I'm standing right in front of Bandung's most beautiful fountain here in Sukhajadi. And uh, the miracle I'll perform is uh, fairly straightforward. Behind me, yes, there it is. The fountain emerges as if out of the blue, out of nowhere. And then another one. I just have to raise my hand and that's it. And one more. Yes, there we are. Next week, I'll perform another miracle for you. This is all for me, Frankie Paradiso. Goodbye and take care.